right, everyone, we are back in Montreal and we're really excited. This is the Point Claire Reptile Expo. here with Reagan and he's a really special little guy because we found out that he, he wanted to do what? You wanted to get by what? Corn snake. He wanted to buy a corn snake and now tell me what what you had to do to get that corn snake. Well I had to go to my grandma's every day and like cut well, I mean uh, like rape the lawn or pick out weeds or do the dishes so, so I could get money. That is amazing. So you had to work really hard to earn enough money to go get the snake, right? And then you had to do a lot of research to find out what you needed for the snake, right? Yeah. So you you raise your own money to look after the animal too, right? Yes. That is so cool, guys. That's what it's all about, right? Teach them young. These, this is the future of our hobby. So to have people like this so involved and want to do the research and wanting to work towards it, it's just amazing. Now, you found a snake that you really like here. What is it? The northern snake. You want to show me? Where is it? So that is so cool. So now you know, you've seen a few animals here at the Montreal Expo. have an idea of how much more grass you got to cut, right? <laughs> That's so cool. Reagan, thank you so much for being on our vlog. And uh, you have to stay in touch. And next time you get another animal, you got to let us know. Sound good? All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs>
thinking for a little while about women in the hobby and kind of how, you know, sometimes women are kind of in the shadows a little bit and people have been saying I should do more of the interviews. So I figured what better way to start doing more interviews than starting a segment of my own at these reptile expos where I get a chance to talk with some of the awesome, incredible, amazing women that are in our hobby. I'm here with Ashley. <laughs> Northern Lights Reptile Imports. Yes. So Ashley, you guys, you've been keeping reptiles a very long time. Yeah, it's been about 15 years now. 15 years? Yeah, 15 reptiles. years. And what started you in this hobby? Oh my goodness. Actually, the garter snakes outside, catching them, frogs, like that whole typical kid thing. So you've been obsessed yeah. with reptiles since you've been a kid. Yeah, in the summertime, I'd have like tadpoles for my hatch outside, raise them up. Yeah. And I'd even have like a little journal on it. Draw all the frogs I found, the unique patterns, and see how many times I could see them every year like when I was a kid. Yeah. That's, that's just what got me going. That's so awesome. Now you keep a variety of different yes. species. Yes. What, are, what are some animals that you keep? I know that you do, obviously do the importing and the exporting yeah. and stuff. Like, what do you personally keep in your class? I'm a big rear fang person. Yeah. Uh, mango specifically I've been working with for 12 years now. It took me five years alone just to find one. I was even under age when I found it originally. The guy thought I was of age because I already kept so many rear fang species. Yeah. He was like, oh, okay, just take it. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's been about 12 years now keeping them. I love them to death. That's amazing. And then you also do very, like, naturalistic, yeah. bioactive enclosures. That's kind of your thing as well. Yep, yeah. so it, it takes a lot of time to actually learn how to do that. Like, yeah. every year it's improving something. I finally hit the point I like. And I, it's, I love keeping that way. Big enclosures, I have maybe only 12 animals total. Yeah. But because of that, they have a lot of space. Like my biggest yeah. enclosure is almost 6 foot by 2 foot by 3 foot. Wow. And it's just full of plants and my mangroves are in it. And yeah. They just, they can stretch out beautifully. They don't crush any plants. It's, yeah. So I also want to ask, obviously being a woman in the hobby, and I feel like there's so many strong women influential women in the hobby again sometimes in the shadows a little bit yeah. how how have you seen that change in your time well it's actually changed a lot because yeah. when I was first keeping people thought I was a guy <laughs> because I kept a really weird awkward like potentially aggressive or defensive yeah. species and I would say oh this guy that keeps uh, you know such and such snake yeah. and over time people started to accept the fact that girls can keep these yeah. things too there are other keepers out there that you know go to the next level for things and you know what girls do play such a big role and people don't realize yeah. how many are actually in this hobby. Everyone just assumes oh it's a scaly creature like even geckos or tortoises. No one expects yeah. girls. It's weird. And it's interesting because like like you say there's so many women that are in the hobby um, but people automatically assume that it's Barrow set like does everything yeah. with the reptiles. Like, no, 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 like I do do more than just hold the camera yeah. I swear. So it's you know and it definitely has shows, there's way more women, more. even like every time there's more and more women that are getting involved yeah. in it, and I think that's incredible. Like so. even as vendors, there's yeah. a lot of girls now. 100%. Awesome. So that's awesome. awesome to see. So you know what? If you're, you know, little watching this and you know what, your little girl, you're out there collecting garter snakes and frogs, whatever, you know what? Stick with it. Stay true to your passion. Oh, and so it's just always growing and I can't wait to see kind of where it evolves to. And one last question, what, what drives your passion? other people happy to learn and experience something new as well. Yeah. Guys, you have to do me a favor. If you're looking to get into something different or, you know, maybe things that are available here but you want to, again, get new lineage in your collection or whatever case be, you got to check out Ashley. We're going to put all of her contact information in the description box down below. Thanks so much, Ashley. No problem. And Someone buys a snake, you gotta put it on YouTube. So I got this young gentleman here. What's your name? Victor. Ah, oh, very nice. And you're buying a hog nose? That's a hog nose, right? Oh. Which one? This one right here? Yeah. Oh man, I love it. Have, do you have any at home? Yeah. We have a ball python. You have a ball python? Yeah. Up? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much.
at one of my favorite booths, and if you guys watch Dave Kaufman's videos, you're gonna see that Dave nominated Slithers as the best booth at the CRBE. I love visiting these guys. Right now, we are here with Glenn and Melissa. Guys, how are you all doing? We're doing great, great. buddy. We're doing good, great. Good, good, man. Yeah, brother, it's always nice to see you. Melissa. Oh, man. Guys, you know what? I'm gonna do the hugs, because I have to do the hugs. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so tell me now, how is the expo going for you guys today? Uh, it's going great. Yeah. yeah, it's going great. Smooth. It's a busy one, too. I've, yeah, it's yeah. early still. And I mean, this place is packed. We've had a good time. I saw you guys move some animals, so yeah, that's, we moved some that's animals. really good. Yeah. yeah, we got a kid his first one, so that's that's yeah, kind of cool. Really that's amazing. always that's always good when you can get an animal into a kid's hands. Yep. That's where you know the hobby is going to keep yeah, growing. Yeah, so. you start them young, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I got to ask you, because I've had you guys on other stuff before, but not on my channel. Tell me a little bit about the concept of what, what how did you guys come up with this? We're just creepy people. <laughs> I, I guess we it's just the way we are, you know what I mean? It's like we're rockers, we're, we're musicians too. So I love it. She's my bass player and it's just... So now, how do I explain it? How long have you been doing this then? Uh, we've been we've been doing it for at least five years now. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you know I, mean? I love it, you guys. I know you guys do a little bit of everything yeah. on the table today. Though you have some hog nose. We talked about some hog nose. Tell me a little bit about some of the projects you're working on. In the hog nose, man, we, we've got all kinds of stuff. I, I, we've done the. Uh, we just produced some super arctic watermelons. I think they're world first, which is really cool. They really look special. Uh, we're, we're up to all kinds of stuff. We want to do some stable stuff. We have some stable stuff that we want to get going. Uh, everything's coming to maturity for that. I mean, you think of it, we're, we're pretty much working on it. I love you know? it. It's like, we got a lot of snakes at home. So to sit and think of one particular, it's like, yeah, I don't know, It's, man. Uh, it's a lot to do. Right now it's super yeah. Now, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you guys? Well, you can get to us by Instagram, Facebook, Facebook okay. Messenger. We're, we're easy to find, you know. And uh, no question is stupid. Call us, hit us up, and ask me. Guys, that's what you want to hear right there. I'm telling you, the first time I met these guys to this day right here, if I have to ask anything, they will give me the honest answer. You know what? Genuinely great people. I'm happy to call them family and friends. Uh, Make sure you check them out, guys, for right, sure. Guys. They take care of us all the time. Thanks, guys. You know what, when somebody catches you at an expo and says, I watch you on YouTube, I'm going to put them back on YouTube. So I'm here with my man right now. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Andre. I'm from Gatineau, Quebec. And I'm very, very happy to be here. Yeah, and you know what Andre got? He got himself some cool animals. So right here, what do we got, Andre? This one is a blood ivory. Man, that looks nice. It is. Is that male or female? Do that, you know? That's a female. That's a female. Guys, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit over here. Check that out. The left. Andre did good. Now, do you have any more bloods at home? I have a uh, Borneo. Oh, male male yes. Borneo. Yeah. yeah. I like the blood, so I really I like love it. I love it. Do you do any kind of breeding? Not yet. Okay. But um, I'd like to breed a couple of uh, ball pythons that I already have at home. That's it. That's that's my project for now. Let's you know, see what else you got, because you got another bag of goodies over I, here. I do have another bag. Look at this, guys. Man, okay, that this, is beautiful. This is another female uh, that I bought today. Man. And this one is a jungle leopard head albino. Jeez, guys. Maybe, maybe another, another project. That is a project waiting to happen right exactly. there. Exactly. Andre, yeah. thank you very much, brother. You're we welcome. appreciate it. You You're find welcome. us anytime you need us, all right? Yeah, yeah keep up the good work. I, thank li you I like much. to see you guys on YouTube. Thank you very much. Can you 
introduce yourself? I'm Maxim and he's Olivia. Hey, and now I see that mom has the ball python. What did you guys pick up? We picked up a nice leopard pastel to go along with our new collection. Oh, so nice. So TF Reptile is going to be putting some leopard in it. Yes. Really, really excited about this guy. TF Reptiles, I started it with these two little guys. And now, who works the hardest, guys? Be honest. Is it the two of you or is it mom? Mom. <laughs> What's the best way to find you? On Facebook, just type in TF Reptiles. Awesome. Guys, follow them. We'll put the link down below. Boys, thank you very much. Thank you. Ben, say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. You guys having fun already? Yeah. Good. And what booth are you guys working at? Reptiles are us. Yeah, one of the best, right? This is Kelly. And Kelly, what'd you get here? I got a leopard gecko. Um, tangerine head eclipse. That is amazing. So you guys got these from Tandem Geckos. Yeah. And um, I'm actually going to put their information in the description box down below. They have amazing animals. Now, Kelly, you keep more leopard geckos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my fourth leopard gecko. Awesome. And you have breeding plans as well. Yeah. That is so cool. Guys, you got to come and check these expos out. Kelly, thanks for being on the vlog. So cute! All right, guys. When you come to an expo, you want to check out a lot of different. Booths. I had to stop right here. I saw Daffy's reptiles. I looked on the table and I thought, I'm gonna stop by, say hi, check it out. So I'm gonna flip it over to Fadi. Yes. Yes. We've been talking a couple of times today. We're gonna check him out. Fadi's freaking out because he keeps losing the crest again. <laughs> So I see that Cresties is something you guys work with here. Oh yeah, we're that big on Cresties. We got a nice, some nice varieties, some darker guys. Very cool. Some of the, well I showed you guys, but some of the lighter ones. Very nice. Cresties is the main Cresties focus? is the main focus. We yeah. have some morning geckos, but we just sold out of them all. I wish I could show you them. Hey, that's not bad to sell <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's the plan, that's the plan. How many of these expos have you guys done? I think this would be our second or third one. We're yeah. relatively new to, to the expo. Good game, guys, so it's, check it's this out. out, man. This booth is going to grow from the single table that you see here? That's the plan. Yes, I love it. How do people get in touch with you? I'm on Instagram, Daffy's Reptiles. We're on Facebook, Daffy's Reptiles. And our email is Daffy's Reptiles1 at hotmail.com. Man, go check this guy out. He's been awesome today. He came by the booth. We did some pictures. We talked rep to chip. Yes, we did. Thank you guys very much. Thank I you, appreciate man. your help, yeah, brother. Appreciate guys, link will be in the description box down below. Make sure you check him out. We are most active on Instagram. So if you want to ask me any questions, reach me there. Thanks, awesome. Guys. None other than some of our favorite people when we come to Montreal. We've hey got Khalil 514 Reptiles. How, How are you doing, brother? Good, yourself? Good, good. And of course, VG. How's Love it going, these guys. guys? So you guys do individual projects? Yes, sir. Vincent, tell me what Amelia's working on. <laughs> Emily's working on some GAF. She wants to get in to the GHI Mojave Ultra Mel project. Okay. But today, uh, this year, she got herself her first Ultra Mel. Female. Almost got another Ultra Mel from you guys. Hopefully yes, next year yes. we'll be integrating the uh, Mojave Ultra Mel that you guys yes. will be producing. That's awesome. What's he working on? He's got most work on his uh, orange dream yellow belly entry pied. Uh, his uh, dream sickle project he wants to work on, which next season we should hopefully maybe be popping some out. Now, when you guys come shopping at an expo like this, who controls the money? So we have our own budget. Separate. This is coming from a woman. I want to hear this again. He is allowed to shop and buy whatever he wants. Yeah. Carrie's hiding in the back over there. Carrie, you need to listen to this because I want to buy stuff that you're not letting me buy. I love you, but... I, excuse me. I know exactly what I want to buy at this expo, and you won't let me. Don't even get any ideas. I'm watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I love talking Thank to you guys. You. What's the best way for everybody to find you? Uh, on Instagram and on Facebook, VG Reptiles. Don't be shy to come give us a, a like and, and follow us. And if you ever have any questions about any animals that you see on our website or on our pages, don't be shy to give us a shout out. All right, guys. I don't know where Carrie is. I'm working hard. I have to do all the sales right now. Oh, wait. There she is. Talking to Sam. I'm working, guys. Right now, I've got some guys who watch the channel. I want to say hi. hi you guys, guys. want to say hi to everybody? Hi. What's your name, bud? Jason. Jason? You guys got a snake, too? Yeah, we bought a pewter for my daughter. Look at that. Nice. Very cool. And everybody, thank you guys for your support. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you all soon. Say bye, guys. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. What do you got there? 
a super blade clown. Remember, if you want to get out or in, instead of just he's hiding his head. head. Surly snakes. Alright guys, so another expo has come and gone. We were so happy to be in Montreal. Awesome people, amazing animals, and honestly the biggest turnout we've seen at a Montreal Expo. So congrats to everybody who was here and picked up some amazing stuff. Appreciate all you guys following us, of course. Carrie, what do we do? What you gotta do actually is follow us on Instagram and Facebook, KB Reptiles24. Keep watching. If you aren't a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're always on the road. Check Checking out other people's awesome collections and animals they have, so please go ahead, follow us along the journey, and have a great day. We love you all, guys. We'll talk to you soon.